Hi and welcome back. Because this game is starting to, uh, I guess you could say, bore me or at least my interest level is rapidly dropping, I'm probably going to go ahead and just do an update during the winter turn of each year. So the next one will be the winter of 1943 and then the winter of 1944 and then we'll do a wrap up at the end um, I'm not going to do seasonal turns uh, from now on it's just going to be pretty much a wrap up I will go ahead and do this turn and then I will probably go ahead and skip until winter of 43 uh, let's see this one will be the summer of 42 so I'm going to go ahead and play it out give a wrap up of what all happened and then I'll probably skip like I said down to the winter of 1943 and then skip ahead then to 44 and then a recap so I expect to expect about three more videos because I want to get some other stuff on this table and I want to work on my Marston Moore game um, so without further ado I will go ahead and play out this turn and uh, give you a recap here we are back. with the Axis combat phase. I'm going to make two attacks this turn. The first one is going to be this 4 and a 5. Total of 9 versus this air unit over here. Soviet air unit. Which was just kind of left out there in the woods. And it's a 3. There is no modifier for woods. So we're just going to go ahead and hit it 9 to 3 or 3 to 1. We roll a 5 at 3 to 1, and we get a defender retreat. So the defending air unit will have to retreat. I guess we'll move it over there towards Moscow. That will teach uh, teach me for leaving units uh, just hanging out there. That shouldn't be. And we're going to move the armor unit one hex that way. Uh, I think... I don't think I want to advance any more units into that hex uh, in lieu of a Soviet counterattack. So I'll go ahead and resolve the second attack at 3 to 1. This will be attacking with uh, a 9 and a 10, 19, 20, and 21. I'll use that air unit there, uh, throw it into that battle there at 3 to 1. And let's see what happens. A two at three to one. Hey, we get an exchange. Well, we'll take the hex. Yeah, sorry about that. Is this in focus? Yes, it is. So they will lose this uh, seven four. Uh, we will move the armor unit into here, taking the hex, and then we're going to move it up north. And I think eh, we're going to move the 5 into there since it participated in the attack. I could go up to stacking limits, I guess, so I don't think it would hurt too much to put that in there. So that's 10 factors, 4 factors, and then I think I have nah, 5. I have a few factors that I can reinforce with. This unit can't move anywhere because it has to leave a zone of control. It is now out of supply. Uh, okay, well I think that is going to be <clears throat> that. I have to check the Axis forces for supply. I think everybody is in supply, even the unit down here in the mid. The DAK and the Italian Infantry Army. Because they can, they can go right here, slide up through here, here, and onto Rome, escaping the air unit zone of control. So, I think we're good for that. So, when I come back, we will uh, be at the Allied summer of 1940. Okay, here we are with the Allied portion of uh, summer 1942. We have already, we're ready for the combat phase, I guess. 
Um, excuse me there for a minute. I'm definitely going to make a couple of Russian counterattacks up here at four to one odds each. That should clear uh, clear a path to this uh, um, Soviet infantry army there, and hopefully this will eliminate the Axis armored uh, army there. Other than that, we've kind of started the invasion of Normandy a little early, but there's, let's see what we got under here. We have a four and a six, so that's 10 plus the air. That's gonna be 14. Ah. And then I landed a couple of airborne units down here by Marseille. And last turn, uh, this is Marseille. Last turn we landed that armor unit there. I have no idea what this city is. I will have to find out. And the uh, African, North African front, nothing has changed there. We're just going to kind of leave it there. Let it wither on the vine, so to speak. It doesn't say anything, like I said, about Vichy France, but once the Allies uh, basically landed there, I put a 3 4 down just to represent Vichy French uh, units. So, this being the last uh, turn that I'm going to do other than just seasonal updates, which I think there'll be about two more and then a final analysis, which I hope to get filmed today and get that out of the way and set up another game here and also start my Marston Moore game. Okay, well, what we have here, we're going to do the bottom one first, which is 4 to 1 versus the uh, Axis Armor Unit. Trust me, I made the calculations twice, so... <laughs> You can trust me. Uh, one at three, four to one. That's going to be an exchange. Well, which one do I do first? This one down here. So, four to one. The German army unit is eliminated. And that means that uh, they have to lose a unit. Well, they're not going to lose. I'm not going to lose the 9-4, so let's just take the loss in an air unit. So, that takes care of that. And kind of straighten up this mess here just a tad. Now for the next attack at the top. We have a 9 and a 7, which is 16. Uh, 16 to 4 is going to be 4, 8, 12. It's going to be a 3 to 1. Oh, yeah, I forgot these guys. Uh, another 5 points. So that makes it 4 to 1. So uh, I'll have to straighten a lot up later. Anyway, 4 to 1. And the German armor, ar armor army at the north there. Yeah, 3. This would be good for them. 1, 2, 3. Defender retreat. Yeah, this could be ugly. I don't know. Get my arm out of the camera. Jeez, nobody wants to see that. Let me see here. The defender has to retreat. Can it retreat into its own friendly hex? Let's see. Retreat. When a combat result requires the defender to retreat, the attacking player chooses a hex to which the enemy retreats. Oh, I forgot all about that. Land units may not retreat across all water, still neutral, or exit the map. Nor may it enter an enemy land or air unit zone of control unless the hex in question is already occupied by a friendly unit of any type. They cannot cross land, exit the map, nor may they retreat into an enemy air or naval zone of control unless the hex in question is already occupied by a friendly unit. Well, there you have it. So the armor, armor unit escapes, although it is thrown back by the uh, Soviet Guards unit. And a Soviet Guards unit, actually the second guards, will advance in its place. I want to protect Moscow, so I don't want to uh, denude it at the moment. So, at the end of the Axie Allied turn, I believe that this 7-4, uh, ah, good grief, excuse me. I believe this 7-4 is out of supply because there's a zone of control here exerted by these two units. And 
so I think it's pretty much out of supply. Which is good, because that means when we attack it again, it will only have a defense strength of one. Yes, there is another game uh, printed on the back at these counters. Um, I think it's for Strategy 1 or something like that, that 3W put out. But anyway, suffice it to say, that's what I'm going to use right there for an out of supply unit. Or let's just flip it upside down. That might help out a little bit. Well, anyway, I'll clean up that mess. And when I come back, we're going to be uh, the winner of 1943 turn. Basically, there's some reinforcements coming up this turn for the United Kingdom and Russia. But we'll see what... Uh, see what difference that makes. Did I forget to move some units over here in the UK? I think I probably did. I may be overstacked. Oh dear. Two units? No? Nope, I think I'm stacked just fine. They're going to be ready to put some more units on the continent in uh, the hopes of uh, increasing pressure on the Germans. Overlord occurred a few years early, so anyway, when I come back we will have the winner of 43 term, and then we'll have the winner of 44, and then that should be it for this game. Thanks a lot.